We're getting something new added to Call of the Wild, and we're actually getting Retriever Dogs for the first time ever. They're coming out on November 28th, and in honor of that, today we're going to be taking out Chance, which is our Bloodhound, and we're going to be doing some hunting with him. Now, we actually just spotted a nice male black bear. He's actually a pretty big level 7 gold potential black bear just over here. And if we get a shot off on him, it's going to be the perfect opportunity for Chance to be able to help track him. We jumped him up. There he goes right there, right there, right there. All right, he's hit really hard. He's hit really hard. First shot hit him far back, which would have been perfect for Chance to be able to track him down. But we needed a follow-up just because he's going to go a long ways if we didn't. All right, let's get over here and get Chance on the track. And see how he does. It's been a while, so he might be a little bit rusty. All right, buddy. Let's go find him. So right now what he's doing is looking for blood. And he's going right to where he was. That's a good sign right there. Some nice blood. And he took off this direction here. Well, he found him already. And that was not too hard, huh? Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Our first shot actually wouldn't have done anything to that bear. So it's a really good thing we shot him again. 5% damage. Follow-up shot did in fact get a double lung shot at 106 yards and it brought down this 20.39 scoring gold black bear. Oh, nice wild hog jumped up. Nice wild hog jumped up. He's running out there about 100 yards out. There he is! I can't see him! I can't see him! Come on! Where is he? Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me! He was right there. And then all of a sudden he just vanished into that thick brush. All right, we got Fox. Pretty sure I just saw, there's our pig, there's our pig. We finally got eyes on our pig. And now we're gonna lose sight of him. Oh, there goes all the white tail. Watch our pig, watch our pig. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's hit! He's hit! I don't know how good he's hit. But he's definitely hit. And Chance should be able to help us. And Chance should be able to help us figure out where he went after that. Alright, we got blood here. Now I don't know if that's going to take down this hog. But what we do know is Chance can definitely help us figure out where he's at. Let's go, buddy. Must have got him too far back. I thought for sure we'd get at least intestine from that shot, but... Oh, we got honey pressure. Okay, perfect. So he's going to be able to help us figure out where he went. All right. While we're tracking down our wild hog here with Chance, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what these retrievers are going to be able to do. Imagine we're out here duck hunting, and we got a big flock of ducks circling, just like we do right here. A nice flock coming in. Well, what's going to happen when we take down a couple of these ducks here and another flock comes in and then another flock comes in? What's going to happen is we're going to lose track of the ducks. We're going to lose track, not tracks. We're going to lose track of the ducks and then we're not going to be able to find them all in the end because there's no way to really find them without covering the whole area. Well, with the new retriever, we're going to be able to sit here, keep shooting all the ducks that we want and fetching them with our dogs. So it's going to turn out to be a pretty amazing thing. That's a drake, but it's a leucistic, I believe. Alright, so for example... We just got three ducks just like that, but while we're hunting, we don't have to worry about going to get them. We're going to be able to fetch those ducks with our dog from right here. By just going like this and hitting the fetch button. Good dog. So rather than having to do this and running around picking up all of our ducks, we're gonna be able to have beautiful piebald gold. Our dog fetching all these for us. Because look at you can see how difficult they are to find sometimes. Another piebald. Especially in this tall grass like this. 
Where, yep, here's one down over here. And another one right here. Actually, there should be three of them over here. There's blood there. I see two ducks here. But I know we got for sure another one. Brown hybrid. I know we for surely got another one over here somewhere. Alright, there may be a little too many piebald ducks, as you can see. And there is our last duck. But imagine our dog being able to find this and bringing it right to us. And here's the last duck. Another piebald, a 75 yard shot. So quite a ways out there. All right, now let's get back to tracking down our wild hog. There is no way we would have found this thing without the help of chance, I'll tell you that. This is unbelievable. Look where he's going. And you're talking pin drops of blood. Look at one little speck of blood right there. And he is way up here. Got blood there. Still going. Good blood there. He found some more blood right here. We got him down to 0% health. But he's still looking. I'm actually quite surprised that... Oh, look at this. He found him. Good job, buddy. Wow, good job. Hey, out of boy. Good job. Good boy. Good dog. Wow. He actually did quite amazing at tracking down this hog. So we literally dropped two inches below the intestine. Otherwise, he wouldn't have went that far. But even with the back hind quarter hit, it did eventually take him down. He did happen to run a good mile or two, but he did go down. So that's pretty cool. And a great track job for Chance. We got a real decent whitetail buck out here at about 380 yards. And we're going to go for a shot right through that grass. I believe we can make this happen. If we hit him too far back, we always have Chance. Ooh, that's going to be a tough shot. I'm pretty sure we just absolutely smoked this tree. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. That is so funny. Alright, let's try that again. What in the actual heck is happening here? So maybe he's further than 350 yards because we didn't even come anywhere near hitting that that uh, buck. Okay, he's stepping out right there. According to the estimate here, that buck's actually probably 400 yards away. And that would make sense why we missed him. Didn't miss him that time, but didn't make a very good shot either. Luckily, we'll have Chance to be able to help us find him. I thought I saw another deer trotting through here. Oh, that one there. Right there. Okay, he's hit again. And we got two not such great hits. I want to find out how far those shots actually were. Yep, that's 400 yards. Those shots are 400 plus yards. That's a long ways. All right, time to let Chance go to work. We're going to put him on the blood and see if he can't figure out where these deer went. We got two of them to track down. All right, buddy, go find him. Go find them. So he says they're over here. Yep, there's blood there. And they cross the river. Interesting. It makes sense though, because usually a injured deer will tend to get to the water. And there's more blood there too. That's what he's looking for. He's having a little bit of a difficult time finding the blood in the water, as you could expect, but 
He did find some. And he found some more on the other side as well. I wonder which deer he's going to find first. Is he going to find the first one or the second one? Maybe he'll find both of them. Imagine that. Imagine if he leads us... Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a good buck. Two really good bucks. There's a giant in the middle. 200 plus. He's out there 300 yards out. Hold on, buddy. We got to go for a shot on this one here. Wow, is that a big buck? Yeah, he's like 250 out there. So as soon as this one puts his head down. We doubled up over there as well. We'll have to use chance in a second. Um, but chance is over here barking. Where's he at? Where's he at, buddy? Still tracking him down. Boy, these deer are taking us on an expedition, I'll tell you what. Hey, he found one! Look at that. Let us right to him. Atta boy. Good dog. Good dog. Oh, there we go. There we go. Good dog. Good doggy. There we go. You've done a good job. All right. So here's our buck and that was our big buck 416 yards should have been a vital hit but because it was so far and we took a very difficult quartering at us angle we didn't get any penetration there but a 181 all right now he might want to try and find the other deer i'm not sure if he's going to or not but we'll see if he does what do you got? What do you got? Oh, you got it right here. Good job. You found him. That was a 447 yard shot. And I am not proud of that one. All right, now let's get over here and get on these giant bucks that we took down at about 250 yards. I'm not sure if we can cross over there or not. Uh, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing here? Because what in the actual heck? <laughs> oh my god our huge buck is floating across the river all right <laughs> let's see if chance can find him go get him buddy imagine he runs out there he's going for it he's going for it come on where'd he go go get him go get him go get him and there he goes no way there he goes keep going keep going keep going he found him he found him good boy all right go get him i know you see him but you got to get closer to him where is this deer going he doesn't even know what to do he's like every time i find him it keeps moving all right, he should slow down over here somewhere. Yep, he's going to stop right there. All right, find him, boy. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Did you find him? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. Atta boy. He's like, I didn't have to do much tracking for that one. Just floated right across the river right to me. All right, well, let's pick him up. It's going to be a 220 gold, and that was a 300-yard shot. No wonder why it didn't drop. We actually got a good bit of drop. I mean, still absolutely smoked him, but we nicked the bottom of that shoulder bone, and it stopped it almost indefinitely from hitting the vitals of that buck, but it still managed to go through and just barely get into that front lung. Wow. Yeah, if we went to hit that bone, it probably would have been a double lung shot and it might even dropped right there, but still an incredible shot and a huge white tail down. And thanks to chance, we found him.
But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know. Are you excited about the new retrievers coming to Call the Wild very soon on November 28th? Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Oh. He wants to play. Good boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs>